The Nigerian Senate has passed the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, but that was after a heated debate as lawmakers disagreed over a section of the bill which deals with electronic transmission of election results. The story, of course, comes in the next uh, report. Um, we'll bring it to you in uh, subsequent bulletins. Uh, there was also opera in the House of Representatives as the members went against the leadership's ruling. Controversy came about after the ruling by the Deputy Speaker Idris Wase, as it wasn't clear whether he ruled for or against the, the use of electronic voting. Those who voted for and those that voted against all claimed they carried the day. The House then adjourned till 10 a.m. today um, to, of course, a continued deliberations. <music> introduction of modern technologies into the electoral process, particularly accreditation of voters, electronic voting and electronic transmission of results from polling units. This development has got Nick Aguli and Chibuzo Wuchi talking, especially on diaspora voting and electronic collation of results. Two things is something we should have achieved a long time ago, but it's never too late to do the right thing. So the point that is starting now is, uh, is uh, we'll say kudos to them, and we hope that they will succeed in doing so. We've been on this road for quite a long time, more than 10 years ago, we've been we lobbying for this uh, action to make sure that we have the right to vote and that electronic voting should be the way to go in the future. If we can move our money securely, electronically, from person to person, then there is no fear that we can transmit our votes electronically as well from pulling unit to a central collection and, and everything is fine. So long as the people who are placed in charge, which in this case is INEC, is able to take the necessary precautions to ensure that that transmission process is safe. Technology comes with its own challenges, but Chibuzo Uwochi says risk management factors can be devised by INEC. The percentage of error will never influence the elections. So with electronic voting, it's definite that uh, we, are, we are going to get some risk factors here and there. But in, in the totality of it, the right thing will be done and it's the best way forward. Ubochi and Agule both support the electronic transmission of results and want voting rights for the diaspora community. With technology, there are a lot of things happening in the world. We have the blockchain things coming up. There are ways that we can transmit things instantly. So within the next, within 24 hours of voting, we are sure to have the results. So the third party that comes in between to fight and seize a ballot box, a yeah. boxes, that will not happen again. Meanwhile, the president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, maintains that this is the first time the report on the Electoral Act Amendment Bill will be laid before senators. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV, Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.